Unlike other insects, a praying mantis will watch you more aware than you'd expect an insect to be. If you couple that with its intergalactic appearance, it could spook you. Eh, go ahead and enjoy your goosebumps, knowing you're bigger than they are. Their weirdness is part of why they fascinate us. That and their graceful deadliness. Take, for instance, their balance. It's a necessary component in their ability to kill. This praying mantis leans back and sways using only the legs on the back half of her body. You'd think the laws of physics would dictate that she topple off of that plant. Her gravity-defying secret lies in her feet. Now, they may look insubstantial, but they're flexible enough to curve around the edges of leaves and, using her two tarsal claws, grip. And the feet have Velcro pads. No, actually, their pads are better than Velcro because ripping Velcro loose would take time. The mantis can't spare a millisecond when a bee's within striking distance. She has the bee before it knows what hit because her feet don't stick. The pads have tiny hairs which adhere to a leaf a lot or a little depending on how much pressure the mantis exerts. Once the pressure is gone, she's gone. Such control allows her, in this impossible pose, to dangle unconcerned, or to walk on glass. Her delicate forelegs look as graceful as a racehorse's legs, frozen in slow-mo. Well, that's an illusion. The mantises we see in our Missouri garden can't race. They can't even really scamper. They rock tentatively toward any new location, like a blind person searching with a cane for safe footing. Mantises are themselves only a link in the chain of predation. If a bird, a snake, or a lizard wants her for a meal, she has to depend on camouflage not speed. As for her spooky habit of rocking and swaying, the motion helps her with depth perception. Her eyes are not mobile in sockets like ours, so she has to move her head, same as owls do, to get a 3D fix on an object. And if that object is close, a couple of inches away, say, she can strike in the blink of an eye. Her forelegs are jackknives covered with spines that grab prey in a relentless hold, capable of easily crushing the hard shells of beetles and grasshoppers. She bites the prey's neck to paralyze it and begins eating while it's still alive. She'll only eat the freshest meat. No lean cuisine thought in the microwave for this lady. Eating raw meat without utensils is messy business, and she takes cleanup seriously, raising a leg like a violinist as she cleans each spine. Cat-like cleans her face, or combines both motions into one. Then she folds her forelegs with the spines meshing like a zipper and prays. Prayer? If that's what prayer's about, let me out of the church. Oh, we humans want life to be eaten, and this tiny creature, chewing on her still wriggling prey, personifies the cruelty of nature. The funny thing is, though, that we humans do more than our share of harm to the planet, while this creepy mantis works beautifully in nature's overall scheme.